Jake Odom. <laughs> I told you he's my favorite player in the league. I love him, but I hate him. I hated him when he made that three. As a, uh, I thought it was a big, I thought it was a huge play. And seniors, seniors make big plays at big times, and uh, certainly Jake did. And uh, there's a reason he's one of my favorite players. Okay, I'll let you guys ask questions. Certainly, Barry, he was able to unlock the zone a little bit. It was giving Indiana State a lot of trouble at that point. You know, just maybe that's where it started. With I, mean, I think you got to give credit to Greg there because what they did in the second half, they moved him off the ball. And they put him in more in, in what Greg calls flash. I thought Greg and his staff made great adjustments. Uh, we still did a good job defensively. Uh, but they made great adjustments in the second half to where it freed him up to make a few threes and caused us problems penetration-wise. But uh, I think when you put good players in different looks uh, and you don't make adjustments, we didn't make adjustments for that. Uh, I think you got to give a credit a lot of times to the coach. And I, I thought I thought Greg did it. I thought they, I thought the staff did a great job there. They made great adjustments. You know, coach, how frustrating is a loss like this? Just because it, I mean, it, it was really there for the taking. I, I, I think Kelly, the, the thing that frustrates me more than anything is that, you know, I, I don't. You, you can't take away from what they did because I thought in the second half, you know, they out rebounded us by five in the second half. They shot the ball a little bit better in the second half. Uh, but it's a real simple game looking at it from our perspective. We missed 11 free throws. Uh, we wanted to shoot more free throws than Indiana State. We did, but we missed 11. Two guys specifically went two for nine. It's hard to win when you do that. We turned the ball over in the second half at really bad times. Got up seven and had two turnovers where we gave them five points, and then we got out rebounded. So, I, you know, I think the game becomes simple. Uh, it's hard to win on the road. Uh, veteran teams don't lose games like this, and uh, we don't have a veteran team. That's it's hard. It's hard. Talk about the final position. We didn't have a chance to win again. I Man, we just didn't have a chance because it's a it's three sec it's three tenths of a second. It has to be a tap. So we went ahead and ran the play anyway, just to see if it worked. Because it wasn't going to count. Did you think though before that? Did you think Des shot the ball too early? You know, there's like 13 seconds left. Would you have liked to see a, a better look out of him? He got an open look, Kelly. I mean, open look, one of your best players, and we actually got another shot off. If I could have had it all do over again, I wish Anthony would have shot faked, got him up in the air, and I think we could have got three free throws. Uh, but my gosh, we got three open looks in, in the last 13 seconds, so that's, that's pretty good. Barry, when you talk about the makeup of your team and how young they are, and, and relating it back to Odom, you know, you had a good defensive. There, there was one play he, he attacked diagonally through the lane, through a no-look pass against his body to Jake Kitchell for a, for a three-point play. I mean, when, when he makes a play like that and you have a younger team and they did what they were supposed to do basically on that play defensively, how, how much does that hurt the psyche of the team at that stage? Oh, I think it's huge. That's why I came in. You guys, I started the press conference off of two words, Jake Odom. I mean, I, I think they win the game today, and I, I don't want to give Jake all the credit. I, I, go, I go back. I think what Greg and his staff did in the adjustments in the second half I thought were really good, but Jake made plays. Just like you said, it wasn't just the shots that he made. It's what he did. I mean, he had one where he hung up at the end. The shot clock's going off, dump, layup. And I think one of the things that you do is you cringe when it happens, but that you hope your players eventually become a player like Jake is. How much did their size seem to bother you today? Oh, it really bothered our big guys inside. Really bothered our big guys because, we, you know, we had a couple of big guys today were not effective. Non effective. And we, we really, you know, we, we were searching today, Todd. I mean, it was, a, it was Casey Musgraves, Barry Go Round. You knew oh, this was I thought be. that was pretty good, seriously. <laughs> Any country and western? I mean, we're, we're in Terre Haute, right? Merry Go Round, Casey Musgraves. Hey, come on now. Work with me, Terre Haute. Work with me. You knew this was going to be a difficult week going against the top two teams. Assess where your team's at, even though you went on two. Or... I don't know if I can do that, Darren. I don't know if I can assess right now. I thought today was an assessment game. Uh, I told that um, the little blonde, I don't, Katie, wherever she is. Oh, she's, oh, there she is. She's she's the only person that's ever interviewed me that's shorter than me. But uh, I told Katie before the game, I felt like this was a gauge for us, a game that we could gauge, whether you've made progress or not. I, I think we're getting better. 
But when you really get over the hump is when you lose a game at Wichita State and you win a game on the road with the second place team. And I know we're young, inexperienced, all that stuff. I don't buy into that. These guys that are freshmen now, they're sophomores as far as I'm concerned. And today I thought it was a statement game, a gauge that we could gauge on, and we're just not quite there yet. But as the assistants told me in the locker room, we control our own destiny. As I told Katie before the game started, we do not want to play on Thursday night. That's our goal. Indiana State's trying to get an NCAA tournament. We just don't want to play on a Thursday night. That's our goal. We don't want to play the play-in game. So we still control our own destiny. Destiny. We're coming home to our crowd, and we've got Bradley, which already beat us. So I guess I'll be able to answer that question, not after Bradley, but after we play at Evansville. Anything else? Okay, guys, thanks for coming.